Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today is Wednesday and as promised I'll be doing an update on my animals and my garden. So here's my fish of course, living inside of this little aquaponic system that I've set up. You can see the plants and everything up there. I'll get a closer view of those in a little bit. But man, look at this water. Isn't that clear? Now, that is a bit misleading since I did do a bit of a water change uh, yesterday to clear out a lot of the feces that was down on the ground. But other than that, yes, this system has been keeping the water very clean and clear. It is got a slight uh, green tinge to it, but other than that, this is doing very well for the fish. Uh, the main change that I've made since the last video I did on this is uh, this thing right here. It's a little timer and I've got it set up to turn the power to the pump on and then back off every half hour. So that gives the plants uh, their time to get some air to their roots every now and then to help prevent root rot. Actually let's let's uh, go look at those plants. So here's the second tray of plants. As you can see, the spinach has grown a little bit. Uh, the lettuce has grown some as well. And the strawberries, uh, well, they're still in here. Uh, these little guys, the seeds that I had, those are growing up. Not a whole lot of changes other than that. A lot of people did want to know how I set up the drain for each of the levels. So let's actually show you guys this here. So first of all, the rocks are here to help uh, filter the water. So now that I'm messing it up, it's probably going to uh, cause the tank down there to get a lot more cloudy. And that's a piece of silicone, I'll pull that out. All right, so let's just pile the rocks up out of here. And so here's the screen that uh, has been capturing quite a bit of gunk. In fact, I think I'll take this and clean it up. Now this little plastic cap here. This was mostly to deaden the sound because this as it's sucking air down to the next level down into the tank it makes a lot of noise so if I pull this off you might be able to hear it. Yeah you hear it sounds like it's somebody's farting. Yeah that sound was a bit much to sleep with so that's what the uh, little plastic cap is for. Now this uh, plastic cap has a pinhole in the top so that when the system goes dry, the water will push the air out and start the siphon. And then this cap creates a little bit of a suction so that the air doesn't get sucked through as much. Air still gets sucked through, but it doesn't make that noise. Anyway, uh, this is just a piece of half inch tubing. and. Uh, it sucks the water down just from gravity. And of course this is uh, stuck in to this plastic bin with a bit of silicone. And just as I predicted, I've made a bit of a mess of the water. A lot of this is actually the uh, potting soil, the, the peat moss that came with the plants. It gets dislodged and gets into the water, but the, uh, the filters will pull this out fairly soon. But yeah, you can see this uh, sucks loads of air down into the water, giving it lots of oxygen. Not only for the fish, but also for the nitrating bacteria. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is the uh, little artificial plants in here are covered in algae. So that's another nitrate absorbing source. I think that's kind of cool because it's like these are real plants now. <laughs> Anyway, up here you can see the lettuce has grown a little bit. The little seedlings have definitely got real leaves now. Uh, I got another piece of celery growing right there. And as you can see, my sock is getting rather dirty, but it's doing its job. It sounds like the, uh, yeah, the pump just turned off. So, yeah, you can see over here the water's being sucked back. Now these uh, beds will drain. Might as well show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so the upper bed is drained. You can see the sock is fully deflated. 
but of course it is still a little bit wet. You can see about uh, an inch of water remains, but it is enough to get the water off of the little moss pots as well as mostly off of the roots of the lettuce. And so that uh, allows air to get down into the gravel, into the roots, and uh, the roots really need air occasionally. Uh, normally with the dirt, the air can permeate down because it's not always soaked. But in this case, since I'm flooding everything, I have to let the air get in occasionally. And uh, this seems to be working just fine. So one last thing, let's actually do a bit of a water quality check here. So looks like the water's fairly hard. There's a lot of dissolved minerals. Yes, pH seems to be right about seven and the nitrate uh, 20 parts per million. And the ammonia level looks like between 0.5 and one parts per million, which is a little high, but these fish produce a lot of ammonia. At least it's not up into the six level, which I've seen previously before this system was set up. So everything's doing just fine right now. So yeah, that's about all I had for the aquaponic system. A lot of people wanted to know about the shrimp, so here's my shrimp box. Uh, this is the first one I made, and uh, yeah, I can see there's one shrimp in there, and that's it. Unfortunately, they didn't reproduce fast enough to recover from their, you know, the rate that they died at. So this system is going to become shrimpless very soon, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to leave it, you know, see how the algae responds to having no shrimp. This other box that I made on camera, embarrassingly, is completely dead. There's nothing living in there, at least as far as I can tell. Um, my guess is what happened is I used tap water, which was chlorinated, and the chlorine must have killed my algae, and therefore killed everything else. I'm considering uh, drilling it open and dumping it out and trying again, but yeah, there you go. There's an update on the shrimp. So let's see, what else do I have? Oh yeah, I actually have lab mice now. See this little guy inside the cage? Let's pull him out so you can get a closer look. So yeah, I've got some mice now. I don't plan to do any experiments with them, but uh, Canyon mostly wanted them to you know, have some mice that she can actually touch. She works with some in the lab and she uh, is never able to actually cuddle with them. <laughs> so yeah, we, we got her some mice. Hey Sabrina, which do you prefer? A live mouse or some piece of some sugar snap peas? Nope. <laughs> She's afraid the mouse is going to get her pee. <laughs> a crazy cat. She knows I'm recording. You ever see that? A cat eating some sugar snap peas while a mouse climbs around on top of her. <laughs> oh gosh. Now we had a mouse problem in the garage and uh, you can go over to Canyon's channel to see how we solved it. Uh, this cat definitely wasn't any help. Several people asked me what the uh, turkeys were doing in the greenhouse. Well, the answer, laying eggs. We put the turkeys in the greenhouse so the dogs wouldn't bother them and uh, so we can get their eggs so they don't uh, go and hide under a sagebrush somewhere and lay their eggs. But yeah, I'm trying to hatch out some turkeys, as you can see. Oh, it reminds me. These mercury thermometers were given to me by a local school teacher. I, uh, I should go give him a piece of cinnabar. His, uh, mercury thermometers are very difficult to come by and in my opinion far superior to the other types. And uh, here's my chuckers. I've got a male and a female in here. Unfortunately the other female, the white one, died. Uh, she got egg bound. But uh, that female right there in the background, she's been laying an egg almost every day. Let's see. 
Here's uh, two weeks worth of eggs from her. I won't be hatching these eggs because uh, these two chuckers are well brother and sister, so I don't really want to hatch them out. But they they do they are pretty good uh, boiled and peeled. Very tasty. Uh, the chuckers back on the ranch have yet to start laying because uh, they haven't been getting artificial light like these ones have. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything I've got for now. Uh, this area right here is where I want to set up a bucket system with hydroponics. So I want to have buckets all along here and over here, very similar to the uh, trough that I had before. But instead of having the water run across the ground, I'm going to have it run through tubing and, well, through the buckets. And uh, down here, I don't think I'm going to put buckets because it really doesn't get enough sun. And I've already got some kale growing. But I think I'll be digging the pond right about here. I will have to contact the landlord before I do anything like that first, though. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. So in three, two, one. Oh, that sounds nice, don't it? Alright, so I think I saw 70-something volts there. That is awesome. <laughs>